What's up, people? Welcome back to another one with Simon Khalil. Thank you so much for coming back. Really appreciate it. Now, this is a follow-up to my previous video. I did wedding photography prep for a bride. Today, let's talk about the groom. Let's go. <laughs> So we're gonna start off in the same order we did in my last video. Wedding prep for the groom. Now, this is very different than the bride because the brides and the bridesmaids are super into this. The grooms on the other hand, they don't think they have to do shit for the day. But little do they know, they have a lot to do. Now when it comes to the guys, I like to over communicate with the grooms just because you never know what's gonna happen. Some of them start drinking early. Some of them, you know, they're just they're like, oh, I'm just gonna throw on this suit and be on my way. But really, it's a little bit more detailed than that. So let's start off with the shots that I get for the groom on the wedding day, especially during prep. Number one, details. Details, details, details are always super important. Um, details includes um, cufflinks for the groom, socks, shoes, uh, the tie, uh, any specific cologne that he's wearing. Now, all of this needs to be communicated beforehand for the groom, just so they don't forget to bring that stuff with them. But um, you guys can really set this up a couple of different ways. One way is the flat lay view where all this is spelled out and you take the shot from the top to the bottom and you see everything the, the groom is going to be either wearing that day. But let's just remember, make sure the groom doesn't have his socks on because taking them off and then try to photographing them is very difficult. The next set of shots that I recommend taking is putting on a suit and putting on shoes. Now, these are very important uh, simply because you see in the images the actions that the groom is taking throughout the day or throughout that time. Now, putting on the suit, you may need uh, somebody to help with either uh, the suit jacket or a suit vest, but before that, you know, let's just make sure that the groom has uh, pants and a shirt on, uh, not buttoned up all the way, but they have it on before we start taking pictures. When it comes to the shoes and the suit, that's when you bring that other person in, whether it's a brother, the best man, a father, or whoever it may be, depending on that person, uh, help out with um, the dress up for the groom. Like I said before, they help put on the, the jacket, they help put on the vest, maybe make a couple of adjustments to the tie, you know, do something fun, uh, you know, and then a couple of uh, a couple of cool watch shots as I like to include. These are super important and I will talk about that in a little bit. One of the most important shots to get throughout the entire wedding day is the groom and bride gift or letter now most grooms I know they're not comfortable reading in front of a camera and yes this is majority of the time the videographers uh, job to get that reading in the video but as I stated in my other other video with the bride it's super important for for you to photograph this particular piece because if you don't photograph it what will happen is you will be missing out on the emotions even the groom has during this emotional day. Now, what I suggest you do is you clear out the room. Guys don't like to being emotional in front of other guys, so you clear out the room, you get everybody out, you sit them down in front of a nice well-lit window and have them read the letter. Um, you could take certain shots where you're, you're reading this, this letter. Um, you could take very detailed shots and you can actually capture emotion through the image. So don't think this is only for videographers. And last but not least guys, taking portraits of the groom 
is super important after he's completely dressed. Um, you, you're, you're getting to notice, you know, the watch on his wrist, like I stated before, or those those cufflinks that he has on, or even a bracelet that he has on. Any type of, of details that you shot prior, you want to now bring this into what the final product looks like and how it looks on. So, but remember guys, that the groom, grooms are easier to shoot. Getting the shots that you want and getting the shots that the bride and groom want. It's super important for you to pay attention to detail while you are going through the process of the wedding day. But that's it guys, that's all I have for you today. Let's go ahead and like, share, subscribe, hit that notifi notification bell up on there so that way you get notified every, every time I drop a bomb ass video like this one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hit me up. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.